Nitya and Nityanandam, this is not Nitya Tattva Priyananda. You know, the topic that I have put, what happened to the minor kids of Nityananda Ashram? Because this is a, like, this was a shocking thing that when I heard, I was really shocked. I felt like, oh my God, I had to seriously share this to the people, to seriously tell what is the real thing to the people. So in a recent interview where my father had shared a very, very uh, shocking and blatant lie. So I was like really shocked that I could never even fathom my dad would talk like that about, about this. So this is why I, want, I decided, okay, let me share it with all the people. So my dad had told in a, an interview where I think it's Wicked and TV. So the, he had shared telling that, oh, do you know, do you know the minor kids, very so, small kids, especially girls, go to um, uh, Nityanda's uh, room at night. And I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, can that, I, I cannot even imagine a person can stoop so low to utter such blatant lies. And I, I couldn't even imagine that my father was doing that. Let me tell you the fact. What actually it is. First thing, those who were in the ashram, and especially if you were part of the Gurukul, you know how minors are not even allowed to be in a place with Swamiji without their parent being there or without their mentor being there. This is something that all of us very clearly even for power manifestation, like Swamiji has conducted so many courtyard sessions, right? So even during this power manifestation, uh, well, I, we never get to be with, with Swamiji uh, with, uh, alone if there is no mentor or anything. We never get to be like that and talk to all the minor kids especially. And uh, this was because like at that time itself, this uh, there was a lot of harassment from CWC. The child welfare committee in the name of coming and actually protecting people uh, protecting the kids they used to like really abuse uh, 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 trying to like ask you know what kind of questions they used to ask us they used to ask like even when i was a minor back then it was i think it was in 2014 or 2015 uh, the child welfare committee came and asked me oh don't you uh, miss I was like, no, I don't miss my old life and I'm happy about this life. Then they told me, uh, no, 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 you have to wear short skirts, you have to look, uh, all sorts of horrible things. And I was like, no, I really love my life. This lifestyle that I'm living is something that I have chosen out of my own choice. My parents are also happy with this. So this is what happened back in uh, 2014 and they also asked many other vulgar questions too. Like, uh, uh, don't you see that uh, video of your Swami? and don't you see this don't you see that etc etc and i was like very clear i know it's morph it has been proven it's morph want to uh, listen to all these lies etc so and they tried forcing and i had shared this earlier in my video i'm just i just wanted to quickly share with all of you but what actually is the thing is so my uh, my dad uh, had shared telling that minor kids go to uh, nityanda's room at night it's like stop there is a limit you're just going on and on and on blatantly lying like this this is what i felt inside me so i wanted to share with all of you first of all we are not allowed any kid or adults in that case are not allowed to go into any place where there is no cctv camera especially gurukul actually in gurukul there was a time where a portion of gurukul i think like two classrooms cctv because some monkeys were there so the cctv broke so uh, the two cctv cameras did not work we were not even allowed to go there they took two days time they uh, they uh, completely fixed more cct cameras put more protection to it so we did not even enter that place because there was no cctv camera people who have been to swamiji's own courtyard you all might be knowing that the whole place is filled with cctv cameras people who did nityananda yoga will surely be knowing and they might have even like you all might have even surely observed not a single time Swamiji would allow any minor kids to be there if there are no mentors. This is a very clearly known fact. And apart from that also, another thing that I wanted to share was 
my own father used to be there with all with like whenever i wear around swamiji most of the times my father will also be there the thing is if he is telling all these lies now right the proof is till now see swamiji had left to uh, uh, to be in the himalayas i think what like kashi yatra etc like basically not with the public life not with with the ashram not with the public life for two years before he is and has been like quite interesting people being so active like many things he was involved in and for the for the full time he never had all these problems he never ever told like see if you were there and you see or if like if what he is claiming is true if he sees his daughters going there like that would he allow it would you allow it in the, from the position of a father obviously no and after swamiji left two years after, he's newly cooking up a lie what triggered him now to suddenly cook up such lies this is, i just I just wanted to share like it's a logical thing it's just a very very clear logical thinking if you just apply your logic and see i'm just so shocked vigaran tv did not even question to like see in a tv you need to investigate they just showing such things and what would the public think it's a planned conspiracy it is the whole plan is like this first and he was here for 3 years and he did not join just like that my dad did not join the ashram just like that i have been here for 6 years of course now i had disassociated i'm telling like before this before all this problem starting i have been here for 6 years my dad had only joined after analyzing everything and it took about Three, two years or three years. Only after full analysis and uh, like coming and doing nityananda yoga, etc. He even joined the ashram. He's telling like he's like we kids are open up at two a and uh, send me to dance. God, for whom? Who wakes up at two a m to dance? Isn't there a limit? kids are made to put heavy makeup kids are made or uh, made, made to go dance at 2 am there is a limit to lie please they go on and on and on building up thinking to question him okay if he used to see if he what he is claiming is a complete if he was seeing all that why did he did not stop He was also there very much in the Adinam, and Swamiji hasn't even been in the Adinam for the past two years. He was Swamiji in Kashi Yatra, like many different things. He was Swamiji in a separate pilgrimage. He was not even available to the public. He and my dad knows that very well. So how come at that time and all, like if something is happening, you immediately get immediately ask. Now how come after two years something? for something that first of all never happened he's cooking up and lying so much in a tv and that is like going on and so and so many of my friends start telling me telling hey this is just going too much i don't know like your dad is just blabbering stuff can you just answer all these things so that's the reason why i wanted to share with all of you there's a limit how much can you go on and on and on lying on top of all these he blackmailed me telling that i uh, that i have to file me and my sister have to file a false rape charge against swamiji first of all such i have been living for 20 years a celibate life such a chaste celibate life i can proudly tell that and i am living this lifestyle so happily without having any relationships no boyfriends not none of those things and he's telling me file a false rape charge against your guru would i do that and oh so many people are commenting oh go back to your parents come on please listen to me please listen to my side 
you want me to follow the path of adharma you all th- uh, want me to go and uh, uh, do what he is telling so and media is supporting him more it's a whole planned conspiracy which house would discuss your personal problem no i really have this question which house do you discuss your personal problem in a media level that day my dad wanted to come and take us so this was like after i confronted him about what had had that financial embezzlement that's after, that's when he immediately wanted to take us out and both me and my sister told no like i first he was talking to me i told no obviously no why would i want to leave this such a blissful life and come out say in few days time he got pulls so many pulls what is going on like like i was shocked why would he get pulls to say if you want to take your daughter out you are supposed to your daughter so he is supposed to talk to me and i clearly told him apa i don't want to come this life is really nice you are why why want to go out say do you want to solve this see you were involved in financial embezzlement solve it let's discuss and close it you do you all f- see there's no need for me to fight my own dad back like this but because the problem is very serious so many were asking why don't you come back to india come on why would i come back there is no protection the police is giving i have a hast my the protection request that i had asked even i saw sun news channel had also projected i was very happy actually seeing that okay my news was not even twisted it was just projected as it is and they are going on and on twisting things like the police is telling no protection will be given to you uh, you like the protection that they are guaranteeing is you come to the court they will protect you so out say the court if somebody kidnaps me they see this whole situation with all this pressure they made me come out of the ashram the ashram didn't set me out let me be very clear swamiji only told me you go solve the problem and then come back but i volunteered because the name the, the way they harassed ashram so me and my sister decided we will continue to live this lifestyle we will be the sanya we will be sanyasis only we would not drop the kavi we want to be in kavi we, because we we are very clear we want to pursue this life so we moved out of the ashram we are living on our own it's so difficult it's not a joke just me i am 20 and she's 18 and two girls imagine and see it's not it's not a joke to live this live like this one side they are attacking the ashram whole media uh, first of all when i'm not part of the organization why is the media attacking the organization i'm not even part of it why is the media going on attacking the organization the ashram for this it, the whole thing is a planned conspiracy and i'm i'm like seriously i don't have any other platform where i can of course nithyan the tv they they offered me a time where i can share the my current situation actually um, uh, like in under a few hours 7 am indian i'll be coming live to actually share on nithyan and the tv like on facebook or you can find it like you can just come to nityananda.tv and you'll you'll be able to watch it or you can uh, come to swamiji's uh, youtube channel and watch it so at 7 am in the senate i'll actually be coming live on nityananda tv and even sharing the whole, what the entire thing what is happening i just want but here i just wanted to share with all of you how it's a planned conspiracy how it's affecting my life people without even knowing my problem without even knowing the whole big picture continuously Uh, po- posting comments abusing me left right and center using such harsh words vulgar words and telling uh, like in a very abusive way oh why don't you go back to your parents come on am i a fool to fight with them 
because it's the total injustice because the plant conspiracy that is why i'm not anything else but just i just wanted all of you just to assure minors are never allowed to be on songji without a parent or a mentor this has always been the rule and he is my dad is just building up more and more lies it's not an easy thing even for me just i'm just like still now lived so happily as a whole family here in the ashram and i was in the ashram till like till this entire problem started living with the whole family such a blissful life a lot of ups and downs came but swami ji protected us through all that but i don't know now why he my dad is completely turning against and it is being really really painful any of you who feel like you want to support just put your feedback put your like show your support by just tweeting Hashtag justice for Hindu monk sisters. Thank you, Nitya.